everyone, it's Budget Bunny here, and today's video is going to be how I clean my guinea pig cage. I've been getting a lot of requests on how I clean my cages. I do have one already on how I clean my bird's cage and how I clean my rabbit's cage, so I'll leave the links below. But basically, I use just a few supplies. I use a heavy-duty shop vac. I use a vinegar water solution to disinfect the cage and paper towel to just wipe everything up. So we're actually going to begin in the basement and this is because this closet is where I keep all of my pet bedding. I just don't have room upstairs for the organization of it so everything is stored on this shelving unit in the closet in our basement. So I've just pulled out a few different fleeces, some towels to lay underneath the fleeces, some pet beds, the um, actual, their leg warmers that I use on the ramp of the guinea pig cage. So I've gotten another clean pair of those out and some absorbent dish pads, um, the ones that I've shown you before from Giant Tiger for kind of those um, trouble areas in the cage. And I've also pulled out a hamper. This is just to put the dirty bedding in so that I can um, bring it down here to wash. And I actually really recommend one of these solid hampers for pet bedding just because a lot of the laundry baskets that are sold now um, have holes in them or they're wicker baskets. And the problem with that in pet bedding is that a lot of the petting I'm going to be bringing down might have poop or hay bits or food bits stuck to it and um, the solid ones are great because I throw everything into the hamper and then bring it downstairs and shake it off outside and I don't track any of the hay bits and things like that around the rest of my house. And on our way up to the pet room, we're just going to stop in the kitchen quickly to grab a few pieces of vegetables just to keep the guinea pigs busy while we're cleaning because I do keep them in the cage while I'm cleaning. Hi boys, how are you? Would you like a bean? Here, have a bean. There you go, Sammy. There you go, Finn Finn. Go enjoy your beans. Yum yum. So now that the boys are busy eating their green beans, I'm going to start cleaning the top of the cage. I generally like to clean the top levels first, get their hay all filled and everything, and then shoo them up there so that they can enjoy the fresh hay and, and eat up there while I clean the bottom part. And you'll notice for the most part I just kind of move things around in the cage, um, like the toys and the igloos, I'll just move them to the opposite floor that I'm working on. The only thing that I would really recommend is that if you have a baby guinea pig or a very small guinea pig, that you remove them from the cage first because they could easily fit through the hose of the shop vac. So when Sammy and Finney were really young, I actually would act just move them into a playpen while I vacuumed but it was still in the same room just so that they would get used to the noise because I do um, shop vac the cage twice a day. So what I'm doing now is just removing some of the Heidi houses, shaking everything out because what I do is I shake all the fleeces and everything into the cage so that any poos and hay bits and all that kind of fun stuff goes stays in the cage and then what I'm going to do is shop vac it up. And you may notice the cage is looking extra messy today. It looks like overnight the guinea pigs had a hay fight. <laughs> there was hay all over the cage this morning. And most of the poos that they did overnight seem to be upstairs today. You'll also notice while I'm doing this that the guinea pigs really don't seem bothered by it at all. They're carrying on their normal guinea pig routine downstairs <laughs> in the level below. So now that I've thoroughly cleaned this level with the shop vac, I'm just going to spritz it with the water vinegar solution and I'm going to let that sit here for a couple minutes and continue on to the next level where the hay rack is just so that it gets nice and disinfected before I wipe it up with the paper towel. So I'm going to do the same thing with this level. I'm just going to remove all the objects on it 
and then I'm going to shake off all the fleeces so that I can vacuum and clean this area and replace it with the new bedding. I'm also just going to remove the hay bag here and fill it up with fresh hay. And now that everything sat here for a couple of minutes, I'm just going to do a quick wipe down with some paper towel. And now that I've got everything nice and clean, I'm just going to put the new bedding down. On the very top level, I don't find that the guinea pigs pee at all, so I just put a piece of fleece down so that it's nice and soft on their feet. But the rest of the areas of the cages, I do lay down towels first before putting the fleece on. And as you can see, my boys get very excited and very curious to investigate their new home. So the easiest way to keep the pigs on the top levels of their cage while I'm cleaning the lower levels is just to remove the um, leg warmers that I use on the ramp because then it's slippery and they don't have any traction so I find they won't come down or they'll put their paws on it and realize that they're going to slip and then they'll just stay up there. So I filled up their hay bag to keep them occupied while I'm cleaning the lower level of the cage. And I've also, in the meantime, taken out their water dishes and their food bowls so that I can clean them. So you'll probably have noticed that I replace all of the pet beds, give them all fresh bedding and new things. Um, I do change around the toys as well and add new toys, take away some toys, but I don't always um, thoroughly wash out the igloo upstairs. That's just because it's plastic and I don't find that they pee in this area. They actually hardly spend any time up there. In that upstairs igloo so I just gave it a good wash last week in our tub with some soap and water so I wasn't too concerned about it this week and it's the same with our food bowls and the water bottles occasionally I will send them through the dishwasher just so that they get a really nice good clean but since I just did that last week I did like a really good cleaning last week but unfortunately I did it at night so the lighting wasn't good enough to film the video. Um, so this week I'm just disinfecting everything with the vinegar water solution and giving everything a good scrub. I also don't find that I need to wipe down the plexiglass every time I clean the cage, but today it's looking a little yucky at the front here. So I'm just washing it down with some water and then I'm going to wipe up that with some dry paper towel. Alright guys, so that's how I clean my guinea pig's cage. I do a thorough cleaning like this once a week and then on top of that I clean out fleece and the absorbent um, pads in those areas where the guinea pigs really like to pee 
probably every other day or every two days. I also clean out the water bottles daily and I just um, clean out igloos and plastic housing and things like that as needed. So if you have any questions, leave them below. In the meantime, I've got to go start on this laundry. Bye-bye.